Well, our prayers are with the people of France tonight, but that is not enough. This election is not only about electing a president, it's also about choosing our next commander in chief. That we can bring people together, but it cannot be an American fight. We will support those who take the fight to ISIS. Uh, this actually is America's fight. It cannot solely be America's fight. The great failing of these last 10 or 15 years, John, has been our failing of human intelligence on the ground. Our role in the world is not to roam the globe looking for new dictators to topple. Our role in the world is to make ourselves a beacon of hope, make ourselves stronger at home, but also our role in the world, yes, is also to confront evil when it rises. We have to understand that the Muslim nations in the region, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Turkey, Jordan, all of these nations, they're going to have to get their hands dirty their boots on the ground. They are going to have to take on ISIS. This is a war for the soul of Islam. And we are not at war with Islam or Muslims. We are at war with violent extremism. We are at war with people who use their religion for purposes of power and oppression. Um, and yes, we are at war with those people, but I don't want us to be painting with too broad a brush. The term is what's important. What is important to understand is we have organizations, whether it is ISIS or Al-Qaeda, who do believe we should go back several thousand years. We should make women third-class citizens, that we should allow children to be sexually assaulted. This nation is the most powerful military in the world. We're spending over $600 billion a year on the military. And yet, significantly less than 10% of that money is used to be fighting international terrorism. We are spending hundreds of billions of dollars maintaining 5,000 nuclear weapons. I think we need major reform in the military, making it more cost effective, but also focusing on the real crisis that faces. The Cold War is over.